Hey welcome. In this video we will see how to evaluate one. Specifically we will see about three ratios which is sharp ratio, trainer ratio and information ratio which are useful in evaluating mutual funds or any other investment products. Right? So we will see first let's understand the data and then we will calculate proceed to calculations. I have daily closing values of Sensex the leading equity index in India. I have daily closing net asset values that is NAVs or HDFC top 200 fund one of the large cap equity funds in India. I have again daily closing values of ICC Blue, Blue Chip Equity Fund again one of the la <coughs> large cap equity funds in India the closing NAVs. I have the data for last one year 2nd July 2012 to 2nd July 2013. We will start with calculating these ratios. First let's start with sharp ratio. Let's see what is the formula for calculating sharp ratio. Sharp ratio will be given by RP that is return of the product minus RF that is risk free return divided by annualized standard deviation of daily returns. We will cal calculate all, all of this. So RF we have, we have GSEC return for the last year as 8.3%. So we have RF. We have to calculate the last one year return of the product and we have to calculate the annualized standard deviation of the product. So let's calculate the total return of each of this. S&P Sensex, the total return is the Sensex closing value for the year which is 19.464 divided by Sensex opening value for the year which is 17.399 minus 1 gives me 11.87 percent. HTFC top 200, the closing and maybe for the year 212.61 divided by 200.01 the opening NAV for year minus 1 ICEC the closing NAV 18.02 divided by 16.28 minus 1 so Sensex has given 11.87% for the year HDFC has given 6.3% for the year and ICEC has given 10.69% for the year right so the outperformance is nothing but 6.3% minus 11.87%. So HTFC fund has underperformed Sensex by 5.57%. ICC fund has underperformed Sensex by 1.18%. We will not use this for uh, sharp ratio. We will use <coughs> we will move on to calculate sharp, sharp ratio now. As I said, for sharp ratio we also need, need annualized standard deviation of daily returns. So to calculate annualized standard deviation we just first cal need to calculate daily returns. So daily return of Sensex is nothing but today's closing value divided by yesterday's closing value minus 1. Similarly for HDFC today's closing value divided by yesterday's closing value minus 1. Similarly for ICC today divided by yesterday's NAV minus 1. Drag them and you have daily returns for each of the fund for last one year. Let's calculate standard deviation. For standard deviation we have to use formula called STDEV P. Because what we have is the entire population and not sample. Since we are having population, I will use STDEV P. Use that and select the Sensex daily return data. And Sensex daily standard deviation is 0.84%. And for HDFC, the standard deviation of daily return is. 0.93% and for ICAC the standard deviation of daily return is select this data we get 
Remember, these are standard deviation of daily returns. So to analyze this, we have to multiply this standard deviation of daily return by square root of 252. Why 252? Because we have 252 trading days in a year. So the analyzed standard deviation of Sensex is 13.3% of HDFC. It is 0.93% into square root of 252 is 14.8 and for ICICI it is square root of 252 into 0.75% which is 11.8% so let's we have all the data for calculating sharp ratio we have RT, we have RF and we have annually standard deviation of daily return right so we know RT is 6.3% for STFC we know RF is 8.3% divided by Analyze standard deviation of 14.8% gives <coughs> me minus 0.13 and for ICC is 10.69% minus 8.3% divided by 11.8% gives me 0.2. So what does this mean? Essentially this means standard deviation is the unit of risk. So for each unit of risk that I have taken, how much of extra return. Extra return is the return over risk free rate because the risk free rate will come without any standard deviation. So for each unit of risk that I have taken, what is the return, additional return that I have generated. So ICICI for each unit of risk that we have taken, we have generated 0.2 return. So if we take 1% return, we are generating 0.2%. We have taken 1% risk then we are generating 0.2% return. Whereas for HDFC, if we take 1% return, we are losing 0.13% value. So for each additional unit of risk that we are taking, we are losing value. So sharp ratio, higher it is better. So ICC looks better in terms of sharp ratio. Let's move on to calculate trainer ratio. So trainer ratio is almost the same, RP minus RF divided by beta of the fund. So instead of using standard deviation, you will use beta of the fund. We all know standard deviation is the total risk and beta is the risk that cannot be diversified. So trainer ratio actually indicates the unit return generated for the risk that cannot be diversified. Right? So let's calculate the beta first. So beta can be calculated using a formula called slope. Known y's and known x's are the inputs required. Known y's are the daily returns of the specific fund. In this case it is HDFC. And known x are specific returns of S&P BSC that is Sensex. So the beta of HDFC fund is 1.05. For ICICA, let's calculate slope. So ICICA is daily return and known X are the Sensex daily return. So the beta of ICICA fund is 0.85 and HTFC fund is 1.05. We know that trainer ratio is RP minus RF divided by beta. So we have all the inputs required. So RP, return on the product is 6.3 minus GSEC return which is 8.3 divided by 1.05 that is the beta. Similarly, for ICICI it's 10.69 minus GSEC return of 8.3 divided by beta of 0.85. Again, higher the ratio better it is and ICICI looks better. What does this really mean? For each unit of undiversifiable risk taken, ICC fund is generating 0.03% of return. Whereas HDFC, for each 1% undiversifiable risk taken, is losing a value of 0.02%. Let's move on to calculate information ratio. Information ratio will be calculated by outperformance of the fund, outperformance of the fund, outperformance over Sensex divided by 
standard deviation annualized standard deviation actually so let's put that annualized standard deviation of daily outperformance outperformance of the fund divided by annualized standard deviation of the outperformance let's calculate outperformance daily outperformance first so daily outperformance is nothing but funds return 0.45% for HDFC for 3rd July minus Sensex return for the same day. So HDFC has outperformed Sensex by 0.3% on 3rd July. ICICA 0.18% minus 0.15% has outperformed by 0.03% on 3rd July. So drag it, you have daily outperformance. Again calculate standard deviation of daily outperformance. Use FTD EV P. Select that outperformance, daily outperformance data. So daily standard deviation of daily outperformance for HTC fund is 0.32%. For ICC fund it is 0.24%. Again to analyze it, multiply this by 252 into the daily outperformance 5.11% for HDFC and 3.85% for ICCA. So the formula is outperformance for the year, outperformance of the fund for the year divided by annually standard deviation of outperformance. So we know the outperformance here which is 6.3% minus the Sensex return or the benchmark return for the year 11.87%. So the outperformance for the year for HDFC fund is minus 5.57. For ICICA it's 10.69 minus Sensex return of 11.87. The outperformance is minus 1.18%. So we have outperformance and we have standard deviation of outperformance. So it gives minus 1.09 for ICICA it is minus 1.18% divided by the standard deviation of our performance which is 3.85 so we get minus 0.31 again higher the ratio better it is so ICICA looks better so based on chart ratio based on last one year data ICC fund looks better. Sharp ratio based on last one year data, sharp ratio for ICC looks better. Trainer ratio also for ICC, for ICC it looks better and for information ratio also ICC looks better.